There's nothing itsy bitsy about the Noble Falls widow spider. Scientists now say bites from the species may require hospital treatment. Our latest findings actually first show that the Noble Falls widow share about two thirds of its toxin, venom toxins, with the real true black widow. And this, of course, is quite concerning. We also know now that the Noble Falls widow is capable of, um, of injecting venom in people. Experts say most people get injured by the false widow in the home, with the vast majority occurring when people are in bed or when spiders get trapped in their clothing. Scientists say bite symptoms can range from mild to debilitating pain or from mild to intense swelling. Spider ran up the leg of my trousers and bit me three times and straight away it felt like boiling hot water and within minutes my leg started blistering. So over the next 95 days um, my leg was constantly blistering, the burst of blister. I was in and out of hospital several occasions. I was on triple drips of antibiotics. The Noble False Widow Spider has been described as the size of a two euro coin, including its leg span with a large shiny bulbous abdomen. They're black with cream coloured markings on its back. They're easy to catch, but obviously people are being advised not to do so with their hands. Scientists at NUIG have now set up a DNA database to allow doctors to confirm false widow spiders are responsible for bites they treat. Attacks from the insects may be creeping up, however they only bite when they feel threatened. Sharon Lynch, RT News.